Hello everyone, welcome back to my art channel. Thank you for being here. I am going to be doing a three canvas painting tonight. If you have been following me, you know that I have been on a little bit of a yellow kick. I go through phases. And so I had some beautiful blues. Actually, most of them I mixed myself. And I'm gonna be using yellow gold, uh, a yellow that I mixed that's like a light Naples, actual gold, and a little bit of white. And my plan is to have dark blue um, here that I mixed, and I'll tell you about that in a second. And then a turquoise blue, a light blue, maybe the light blue in the center one, and then a turquoise green and a turquoise blue that I mixed. So for this beautiful blue color, because it's on a base, I'm not using my Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray. When I use Creative Inspirations as just a base, a lot of times it swallows the colors. Even if I mix it with Amsterdam paints, it still is strong enough, it's so cell reactive that it will bring up cells and kind of eat the colors. So what I did was took Prussian Blue by Amsterdam and that Prussian blue is actually transparent. So what I did was I took a little bit of black and a little bit of white and I made this really pretty navy color. I saved some of it in a little cup as just thick paint before I mixed any water with it. And I do that so that when I pre-mix colors like that, if I have any touch-ups or I need to fix my sides or anything like that, all I have to do is use that same paint that was in this mixture. So I don't have to try to guess and try to come up with that color again. Sometimes there's no way, cause it's like cooking. I'm like, oh, I'll add a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So that was the tip of the day. I've been doing some tips in my videos. Please let me know if you like me doing those kind of little tidbit uh, tips that I've shared, that I've learned along the way, if you like me sharing those. But I figure if I had an issue with it at some point in time and I learned it, I'm figuring that most people are having those same issues or at least some of them. <laughs> I think I have my own issues. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, I'm being silly. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. I have all my colors lined out. I'm hoping that there's gonna be enough contrast in just these colors with the yellow i'm hoping that the gold and the deep and the yellow gold don't blend too much together but you'll never know unless you try right this blue that i made is a turquoise blue and a little bit of like a table scraped blue and then my sky blue light i have more white in that one so truly the only color out of these bases is my turquoise green that i'm using all right, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go for this. I'm gonna start, I wanna do, I'm gonna start up here. I was trying to debate how I want these. So I guess my, I wondered if I should do them all across the front or if I should have one down at the bottom. This canvas is a little lopsided, but we'll have to deal with it. Hmm, what should I do? I think I'm gonna do, I guess I'll do it this way. I've already started. Alternate the colors. Give the eye something to rest on. My debate was, <laughs> in my head, was do I do all the colors at the top and all the dark at the bottom, but I think I'm gonna alternate it. Okay. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I am gonna try to leave this strip here so that I can blow into it. Next will come my dark blue navy mixture. And last one, right up there. Hope that's enough. 
Okay. I'm sure it is because I am heavy handed. All right. Yeah. Okay, this definitely needs more butane. All right. I don't know if I'll get that to light again. Okay, <laughs> let me blow this part out. Okay, so I got all my sides covered and I still noticed that this blue is still very transparent, you can tell. So I'm glad that I saved some because I'll be able to come back in and paint those sides and it'll look as if nothing happened. <laughs> okay, so I managed to leave space for the paint to go in the center, so that's good. I was saying it in my head the whole time. And I think I'm gonna get started. I think what I'm gonna do is the lighter color first, just straight through here. And I'm gonna do the same on each one, the same little layers. And you wanna have enough paint that you blow. Now you could choose to be really minimal and just blow straight through here, or you could really blow them up. I haven't decided. I hope that doesn't get me flagged. Uh, blow them outward. Okay, that was probably a little too much, but you know, got a little zealous there. Okay. Now I'm gonna come in with my really pretty yellow gold. It's a lot of paint. Oh boy. Okay, now my white and my gold's gonna go on top and I will have to blow these towards the side a little bit. I am loving this color combination. I want this for my house. This is really pretty. All right, last one is gold. I'm gonna do... Ooh. <laughs> uh. I should make a, a blooper video of just that sound. I could probably make, out of the four or five years I've been doing this, I could probably make an entire video out of just me spilling paint <laughs> or putting more paint than I actually want to. Okay, I think. I think this is it. I just wonder if I should do a little more white just because I want it to stay kind of bright. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go. I really enjoy this color combination. I'm super excited about it. And I have some tiny little specks of color in there. All right, let's blow this out.
Okay, so a few things. There is a lot of paint under these, so I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna dry. I was really trying to, and there's a lot of paint under this one too. I was really trying to take my time and figure out how I wanted them blown. So I started with this one and I ended up with like one big blow right here, which I may actually drag my finger in to create a little bit more. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that one. Definition, I love this middle one, just except for this part right there. And I love this little tiny wispy part right there. I love this. The yellow is so beautiful on every single one of these. And I really don't think I'm gonna do anything. So like they don't match, they don't look the same, but I feel like they still go together. All of these end the same. These do not, this one, I might blow that just a tiny bit up this way. I like, the, and maybe just this one right here. But otherwise, I'm done. I'm gonna show you. How beautiful is that? Wow, I love this color combination. Take you in on the details. Yellow, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because of spring, but yellow has really been, I've just been digging it. And especially with these blues, I really like it. The only thing is there's a lot of paint in the center of each of these, except for this one. And this was that one that I added that extra bit of paint and I shouldn't have, but let's see what happens. All right, I'll show you how they dry. I am so pleased with this color combination. And you can see how beautiful that blue is. You can see all the different details that are there. The gold is really pretty. I love how it kind of spread out at the bottom. The light yellow and the dark yellow. Really, really happy. Let me get myself out of there. Yes, yes, yes. Well, this one was super fun to make. I am loving this color combination. Each one, the dark blue and yellow, that medium, I call it table blue, and the turquoise green. I love them all with this color combination. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.